video. So I'm glad you're here again. Uh, just a little update on what happened when I uh, put a fish in and pretty much tried to start the tank and stuff. You know, I had a little bit of bad news. The fish apparently died in, you know, the first day of putting them in, probably about six or seven hours later. Ran through some tests to find out what was going on and came to find out that my pH level was a little bit low on the lower side. It was registering as a 7.2, maybe 7.3 or 7.4, but uh, I know I got to get that up a little bit to be able to manage a little bit of fish and have the proper water parameters to um, host anything. But I do have um, my snail in there um, doing pretty good, as you might see in the background, here moving around. Um, if you can, last time you looked at a tank, I know I had a bunch of algae everywhere. Um, the snails and crabs, they did a great job cleaning it up. I'll tell you that now. Like, they ate and ate and ate until they couldn't eat no more. And they ate it all up. You know, it's like a whole 360 from the first day I put them in there to now. Because it's a little bit of, it's a little bit of algae there. But I leave that there just to feed them because um, I don't have no, they don't have no other food source but the algae. So. I just keep the algae there just for them to eat it and get it, you know. So what I'm thinking is um, I'm going to get my pH level up, you know, and let that sit for about maybe three or four days. Keep testing every day see if the pH level stay the same. And once I can get the pH level to stay the same, then we'll try it again and uh, get another, you know, get another fish and stuff and see how it goes. Um, I do have a coral in there, GSP coral. It looks like it's doing um, pretty good. Um, haven't got down all the facts about it, but I'm still doing my research, you know. I just know it's um it's uh one of the easiest cores to grow and stuff and it just need a, a good nice light and some water flow, so I know um when I cleaned the tank a little bit a couple of days ago and I had the algae floating around, um I had the GSP curl was just out, you know, had its tentacles out and stuff grabbing through the water column, so it's living, it's doing pretty good, so I'm not mad about that, you know. But um, overall, we're on a nice track and stuff. I'm just little, taking taking it one day step at a time, let the tank settle, cause you know, your tank really don't mature until six months, maybe a year after you set it up, so. And this tank probably been running maybe four and a half, four and a half months now, so. We ain't even uh, hit the six months yet, so. We're just taking it slow, you know, maintaining it, and get everything, you know, so. Zai got a couple words to say to you. I'm going to pass it on to him. Especially, uh, I'm going to start making videos. Uh, so, be out on the lookout because I'm going to start making videos. All right, you heard that. He said he got some videos coming. Be on the lookout. So, we're going to wait and see what he got in store for us and stuff. And like I say, just want to thank you for coming. Coming through and checking out the update on the tank. And let's get you a good look at it. Um, it's doing pretty good. You know, I don't got no complaints or anything. Um, I test maybe two days ago. Everything tests the same. No, um, no ammonia, no nitrates, um, nitrites with the eye, or no nitrates with the egg, and a little bit of nitrites. You know, so everything's going pretty good. Um, I don't think that I would uh, change. I might have to get a another one of these, or one that's a little bit more power to move around the water. Cause it, it looks like it's moving around. I just don't want no dead spots for food to be able to grow and stuff. And then also that DIY I was telling you about with the the lights. I'm still looking for them, so be on the lookout for that. Cause I I want to keep this lid on here. I just want to put LEDs, higher LEDs on the inside, so the tank will look a little more brighter. So at nighttime, when the lights are off, you see the tank it stands out by itself. So be on the lookout for that. Cause I'm still looking for them. So we definitely gonna bring that to you. So like I say, thank you for coming through. It's a little small update on what the aquarium looking like. And stay tuned ahead. See you.